Now this, oh, can you see it? No. Okay, let me just bring it over. Yeah? Okay, now this was uh, sent in by our uh, one of our premium subscribers. She wants me to take a look at the overall market that we have here. Okay, so let's look at it. Uh, this stock is called Signal in INT. Okay, Signal INT. Maybe it's better for me just to sit down here and I'll uh, string this to 88%. Let me just take this. It doesn't work. <laughs> Let me just get my laser pointer. Yes. Battery is very weak for this one. That's a problem. One time you don't use it long. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you can see that uh, from what this is something submitted by her so she wants me to check with it using the uh, VSA price and volume so from September to June 10 she's using what chart is this can you tell me is it monthly chart there's only four tick in a month so what is it it's a weekly chart so she's looking we got so is she looking at short term or long term now long term right so it's long term so that's the best way to do is actually looking at the overall longer term if you're looking to analyze the chart you gotta look at the overall long term now is she is she right to say from september 2009 here to june to june is somewhere here right is it in the distribution stage is that correct to state that right it is right because you got see the uh, the what happening here look 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 at the high okay the high is definitely not getting higher, right? And but the low is getting lower. So that is the to me is the best evidence that the trend is coming down. Now you want to know how the trend is. Very simple. If you want to know this is the distribution or this is the accumulation, it's very simple. If the market were to tick here, you see this? Right? Let me just get this. You see here? So this is will be an up trust, right? You written that high volume up trust. Now this is in volume up trust. So if you get an up trust, right, the market has to move lower, right? If you move lower, it has to be low volume test. Fine, right? But after having low volume test, the market cannot go lower anymore, no. Correct? If you have low volume test and market break lower, what does that test become? It becomes a what we call a a fail, fail test. Means kaboom. That's what I'm gonna tell you this week. With the chaos CCI, it's the same thing. Now we have a good support at 1505, right? Or 1500, remember? KLC now by looking at closing bell. So by just looking at the closing bell that I do every Friday, it will give you an overall background, what's happening. You know, just listening to the few things I've talked about, the past week review. So the same thing. So if we have the test and it breaks down, that's a failed test. So what I'm saying this week or next week for the KLCI, we cannot break below the 1500. Because to me, that's a test. Today, our market, let's see where's our market today, okay? Let me show you where's our market today, okay? Let me just bring this over, okay? This is our market here, you see this? Here is what we call a low volume test here. See, this is a, a moving average for the volume, right? So you got a low volume test here. This, that's what after testing, the market has to go, and this too becomes a two bar reversal, correct? So now, now you got a low volume here. So the most we can do is we'll probably test the next resistance in here. So this, to me, today is actually a good day to buy because we already proven we have low volume test. Markets are going to move higher. Now the question is, should I wait until they test 1520? That one is very difficult to, to say because the market can just break 1520 and just start to go higher, right? Because guess what? In, in Dow Jones, are definitely moving higher. It's going to break up to 12. And based on the uh, analyst forecast that I've been uh, news, news, uh, sorry, newsletter been subscribing, Dow Jones may just go up to 12500. 0, 12, now it's only 12300, so another 200 points more to go. 200 points is equivalent to uh, about another, let's say, uh, 10%. No, not 10%. About another 2 more percent. Now. About another 2 more percent. So our CI can move another 2 percent. Let's say our CI move another 2 percent from 1520. Uh, 1 percent is how much? 15 points, right? So it's still another 30 points, right? So you're looking at 1500, another 20 percent. So you might go back up to 1500. 
So if you use this kind of, this kind of uh, ratio, you can say that our market can go a bit more, more room to go, provided the interest rate that is coming up from the uh, China market hasn't been priced in yet. If it's in price in, this will probably hit it some more high here. So the 1500 definitely, definitely it will be tested. But to me, I want to see the 1520 first. You see here? Why? Because if you draw a line, one, two, three, four. So that will be my closing bell for today. That's how I analyze the market. Okay? Next one. Okay? And back to this one here. So in here, we, she said that uh, then from July 2010 to December, to December, this is a what? A uh, markdown, is that correct? Markdown. Now what she did was very good. I really like it a lot. It's because what she did was she took the chart on the weekly basis and, and just draw it. Now that's one thing I never like about those uh, uh, so-called penny stocks or less than one ringgit. You can go up high, distribute and then come back down again. Same thing with Garam Brunei. Same thing with all those talam. Uh, talam uh, 7 cent uh, can go up to 10 cent, 10 cent go to 20 cent, 20 cent and come back down to 9 cent again. Uh. That's why I never like it unless the dividend yield is good. Okay? So you come back in here. Now you got this high volume in here. Okay? So from 10 to 14 of July, show low volume test here. He says that, right? You know, low volume test after experience high volume in here. So that could be the final, final exhaustion. Okay? You got this high volume here, up trust, meaning the market, right, will be tested here again. Now the market's going to test back here low again. Here could be a sign that insider already bought, right, and just throwing it out, everything, right? The, uh, the weak hands just throw out everything, or it could be insider accumulating at the base here. Isn't it classic? They push up the price here, ultra high volume, distribute at the top here, right, and then market down, no support, right? The market on its own weight without insider tends to what? Move up or move down? Move down, right? On its own weight, right? We'll move down. Just look at the uh, master skill. On its own weight, without any skill, we will just come down. And then suddenly people say, oh, it's bargain hunting from uh, master skill. If you follow my blog, I've been telling a uh, master skill. Once you break below the $192, it's finito. Besides, there's just too many negative news about the CEO. The fact that the CEO has to come out and say, hey, I'm buying more, some more, huh? that proves you already, you know. Right, remember, we are, we, we, for master skill things like that, unless the U is good, you know definitely, to me, it doesn't represent a fundamental. For trading, yes. Yeah? So it's coming back in here, you got some low volume test in here. So what she's saying, from the 24th to 28th, no more supply, then you have a two bar reversal. A two bar reversal, is this correct to say a two bar reversal for this? Uh, this is a, is it this a two bar reversal? Here? Yes, it is a two-bar reversal, but not for this one here, right? This is a two-bar reversal, but definitely not for this. So from February 2011 onwards, which is currently now show that lifting of the higher low of each year, which is good. However, we are hitting here. What is this? A resistance. So they're going to be professionals selling. Now, in order to time your entry, would you use a weekly chart or daily chart? Yeah, use, use a daily chart to time it, because that's definitely resistant. I'll probably look to buy back around here. Right, if you draw your trend line, and she draw the trend line just nice, but the two trend lines should be parallel. You see that? This is diverging, it should be parallel in here. So what she did, she just need to draw another trend line in here. Definitely, definitely what we're seeing here is a, we call a, what we teach you, a COB, change of, change of behavior. So we have a change of behavior, market testing in here, it is. Now to me, this is a congruence. If it's gonna break higher, it's gonna go back up and test in here. So that's how they're saying, what you've done is correct, except uh, this line should be parallel to it. Would you all agree? Okay? Drawing like a yes, you're drawing like a witch, right? Uh, now let's look at this, is on the weekly chart. Now what I want to do is just look at it from a daily standpoint, yeah? Let's look at daily standpoint, this stock is uh, Signal INT. Okay, let's look at Signal INT. Bring it up. Okay, go down to my stock. Before I, I need to know the code first, huh? S I N D. Oh, signature international. They make kitchen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. signature kitchen. They make kitchens. Okay. Now, to me, that's a very cyclic kind of stock. Seven two four six, yeah. Seven two four six. Okay, it's coming now.
Okay, so it looks like the market has definitely come back down here. Now, if you draw your trend line in here, here.